Hey there, my little snow peas. Welcome to Reading Journey. I'm Journey. I'm doing the love reading for every may need it. So I had a dream last night. I didn't even sleep that well, apparently, because I'm so sleepy. As a matter of fact, I'm steeping some ginger and green tea right now so I can try to wake up. But and I apologize for this noise. My fan, I got a little warm. But I had a dream that all these divine partnerships and twin flames were coming together. And it was absolutely beautiful. It was beautiful as I see 33 on the clock. So I definitely, that definitely confirms for me that these connections are getting ready to really come together. And there's a wave I'm hearing, a wave. And it may be another 20 years I'm getting until the next wave. That's what I'm hearing and feeling. But there's a wave coming through. So those of you who've been doing your healing work, Good for you because your person is doing their healing work as well. So let's get into your reading. Also, I do uh, personal readings, same day chats. If you want a video chat, you'll have to call me. A video like where we see each other, you have to call me. I mean, <laughs> call me, email me. That link is in the description box below. If you're new, welcome. So let's see, Sweet Spirit, what is the message today? What is the message today in love, overall energy message in love for these two people? They're showing me another day. Hold on one moment. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius, but it doesn't have to be. They could also be maybe a doctor, surgeon, lawyer in the law, in law, working in law. This person might like to wear purple a lot. Some of you, this person may have blue eyes. Of course, that's not all of you. All right, let's see. What is the overall energy for these two? Yeah, heart with the key. Coming together. Coming together. Well, well you both. Oh, my gosh, I feel that so strongly. My third chakra, like something just released. You're both now in a place where you want love, you're welcoming love, you're opening your heart, you're healing your heart, you will be getting together soon. You both are ready for new love, whether you're focused on it or not, right? That's usually when it comes in when you're not focused about it. Somebody's upset though. I do feel like there's somebody, an ex of yours or an ex of your person's. I feel like it's both of you though very deeply hurt and saddened by this i don't know how they know i feel like what what i they're probably uh going in your energy that's what they're doing they're either doing readings themselves or having people do readings they're watching the energies and they're seeing how you're growing and they can't stop that growth at all yeah i feel like these people are grieving you're literally grieving because somebody's going to, you're going to get married. Okay. Somebody's going to come towards you. You're either going to get an offer of marriage or somebody's going to accept an offer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is a snake. This person was the other woman or other man. This person was doing things to sabotage a connection. But guess what? I'm hearing clearly, but God said, yes. This person, neither one of you are dealing with these people. You're done. You don't want to hear anything they got to say. And your mind right now, both of you, your mind is on your money. That's it. Your mind is on your money. Your heart is open to love now. You're ready to receive good love. Not that fake stuff. Good love. A love, a connection that is not just based on superficial things. Right? Not based on um, negative stuff. Yeah. These guys are like falling out of my hands. Y'all are focused on true loving connections. True loving connections. Not, not that fake stuff. Real, real love. I'm hearing that song. Real love. I'm searching for a real love. Hey, someone in my heart. Okay, anyway. Every now and then, y'all, if y'all knew us, I'm singing. 
All right, and I'll get you some signs of who's involved towards the end. Just hang in there with me. If you like the video so far, hit the like button. If you want more, hit that notification bell. Let's get into it. What's going on with the person, sweet spirit? All right. And those of you new, you want individual signs, that information is in the description box below. Just click the more button. It'll open up all the information that you just, where you can find me. All that stuff is right in there. All right. What's going on with this person, sweet spirit? Mm. All right. Moving towards victory. I'm getting it over and over again. These batch of people, just like my dream here. These things are coming together. We've got the chariot card, 544 on the clock. And we got page of swords. And we've got the six of wands. This person is determined to come towards you. They want to talk with you. They may be watching you, okay? Some of you are hearing clearly, too, watching you through the tarot as well. Had tarot readings about you or watching tarot. Maybe you have a tarot channel. They're watching you on a tarot channel. They're moving towards victory. That's their focus right now. And they will fight anyone who stands in their way. They are determined. Okay. Oops. Can I show this card? Yeah, ain't nothing showing. They are determined to get to you. This person may live at a distance from you or things might be just distant between you, but they are determined that they're gonna come towards you with love, okay? Sideways, I'm gonna take it as such. Hmm. So there's some truth hmm, that wants to be revealed here. I feel like this person knows that you've been having a hard time or you've had some major struggles. They also realize that what they did, because this is many of you, this is somebody who's coming back. What they did was, it was very painful to you. That you were giving up offers to them, but those offers weren't be re being received. This person was, and I'm not trying to use this as an, as an excuse, but this person was under the influences of witchcraft, right? But there's still some responsibility on their part, and they're taking that, though. I feel like they know that. And they want to come and give you an offer. More than one, though. I feel like they want to give you several things. They want to balance out the, um, I almost feel like I want to say cups, but it's weird. But they want to balance out the cups or balance out the emotion between you. They want to bring karmic balance. Some of you, they may know that you're gifted or you're a healer of some sort. Not all of you. Or that you're just highly empathic. You have been through some struggles, though, I see viewers. My seers here. There's something going on here. Let me like take a look in a minute, sweetheart. Let me just get this one last card, and I'm going to take a good look at you, because that's too many. I'm going to take all those. I'll take that. Hmm... Ten of Cups. So you're definitely fighting for balance in your own life as well, by yourself. You're tired of something like a truth not being out or a truth not being revealed. You're trying to bring a tower. You're trying to create some type of tower here. You're not satisfied with where you are right now. And that's not, and I'm not talking about love, just in your life. It could be love included as well, but your overall life. You want balance and harmony. You're both, you both want this. You're both headed that way. Now you may think you're just headed into a place where you're going to balance out yourself financially. I feel like you have love on the brain, but right now your major focus is financial, like getting yourself balanced, your financial, your mental health. And if love comes along, great. I have many of you like that. 
and that would make sense being that the energy we're in at this moment this is a timeless reading so whatever is going on for you at the moment there's something going on where balance is being created what's going on with you i want to take a look what's going on with this seer what's going on here heartbreak oh. this is not but i'm not talking about love some of you this could be love yeah heartbreak because your finances are not where you want them to be there's something going on with your finances maybe you know your finances are being held up or you feel like your finances are being held up there's a judgment though. I feel like you're going through a life review, Sears. That's why this is taking longer than usual. The divine is doing something that you don't see. I can feel it. The divine is trying to, the wheel of fortune is here with the judgment card. The divine is trying to end your life cycles of poverty. Okay, the divine is also trying to end your life cycles of not having real true love, balanced love. There's something in your life that has been unbalanced, and I almost hate to say it, but like a curse in a sense. It could be a curse from your family line, it could have been a curse since you know something since childhood, like things just your childhood sucked, now your life does too. But the divine is trying to balance all of that out with the six of pentacles. 11.33 on the clock. They're balancing all this out. That's why this is so tough. It's tough. It's tough on your mental as well. And as far as... There's quite a few of you. You probably don't even see this person I'm talking about. And they don't see you. They're watching you, but they haven't come forward. They're not supposed to yet. But I will say this. We never wait on anybody. If... If this person is for you, you will know that. But don't stop your life trying to figure it out. I wouldn't. Enjoy the read and keep it moving. 12, 12 on the clock. And trust and ask the divine to bring you your true divine partner. And if it's this person, guess what? They'll show up. If it's somebody else, guess what? They'll show up. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm hearing don't get stuck in the process. Because this is life is a process. And the divine is clearing out some major major things for you again that's why it's so painful mentally exhausting because you're getting a new beginning here you're going you're getting a do-over a start over in life the divine is snatching back some things that were taken from you spiritually and tangibly if there's anything tangibly that's been taken they're taking that as well but this is a process here and it's tough i feel you it is very tough it's tough but i feel like in the end you're going to be satisfied with what you receive okay because you're shooting for the ten of cups anyway and you're going to get that as long as you keep moving towards what it is that you want in life and what you desire and what you feel you deserve, you will get it without a doubt. You will. And the divine is partnering up with you. The divine is back here working. They're working. You just don't see it. 33 on the clock. But they're working. They're helping you bring these things down. I promise you they are. I promise you they are. What's going on with your person? What are they doing? What are they up against? What are they doing? King of Pentacles. Looks like they're trying to get their money right. Tell me more. They're doing the same thing you're doing. And my eyes just twitched. So you, both of you might be stressed. Something's going on in your life. King of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Yeah. So they're dealing, they're trying to buy out, balance out their finances because they're dealing with an ex, baby mama, baby daddy, baby, you know, ex, whatever this is. They're dealing with somebody who's also, I feel witchy. They're doing dark stuff. It's not working anymore, but this bitch is, they're something else. They are very difficult and they're not a match. He's a king of pentacles and she's a queen of wands. There's no match here, but this person wants to hold on. What else? What are they doing with, with this person? 
Yeah, they're afraid. I just saw that Page of Pentacles wants to come out, but it didn't. Mm, there may even be threats of jail time. And if it's not that, yeah, this woman, I feel like, or man is threatening somebody with jail. This, your person, do they, how does this person feel about this? They're leaving. They feel like they're out of here. They don't give a damn what they're talking about. They're going after the Ace of Cups, which is you. They don't give a damn. I feel like at one time, this little threat, because somebody was threatening them with jail, but you won't see the kids and all this kind of stuff. And it was a burden for a long time. They sat there because they were like, what else can I do? But the energy now coming through is pushing them. And so they're working. They're working to get out of here. They're leaving. They're getting their money up. They're leaving. They're leaving. They don't care anymore. It doesn't work. They're like, I don't give a damn. I'll just start over. Whatever. I'll start over with nothing if I have to. And that's what you have to get. Sometimes that's what you have to get where you're like, I don't give a damn. Okay? I don't give a damn what you're talking about. I'm doing what I got to do. Whatever. What's the worst that can happen? It happens, it happens. All right, yeah, because this person is, yeah, this person feels that you are stable and secure. And they see your growth and how you change. And that you just, even though things are hard, you still do it. You still are able to do what you need to do. Yeah, this person wants a partnership. This is all they're focused on. This is what they're going, that's how they feel about you. That's too many. They feel like they're in love with you. They want to be with you. That you are stable, you're secure, you're honest. Yeah, they're being persistent. They're working on this. They're being persistent. They're bringing the hammer down. They're like, I don't give a damn. You don't know what I got to do. And I'm cutting this, these crazy folks out of my life. They're out. Yeah, they're tired of pretending. They're tired of being gaslit. And they're showing this person, they're not showing people really with this mask what they are doing. They're keeping their, their, their mouths quiet. That's the best thing you can do. Because they got truth and clarity of where they're going. They know exactly where they are going. Exactly where they're going. Some of you, because of the story, this could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but it doesn't have to be. But I mentioned them twice, so I know there was one in here. Yeah, and they're definitely, they're going through, somebody's going through a separation here. And somebody's trying to make it extremely difficult. Let's get you the signs of who's involved here. Just knock out that card. Yeah, they're trying to make it extremely difficult. So this person can't go nowhere, but now they're like, I don't give a flup. Okay, fine. If that's the threat you're gonna give me, I can't see the kids, well then, I guess I won't be seeing the kids. But you explain that to them. Don't lie. Tell them the truth of why they're not being, why I'm not seeing those kids. Because eventually I'm gonna tell them anyway. So hey, let's get into it. So they're not moved anymore. That part, the energy, I like that energy. They're like, I don't care. Like, say whatever you want, boo. I'm still leaving. All right. So let's see. We got Capricorn. We got Scorpio. Virgo. That could be you and your person, okay? Aquarius. Pisces. Libra. Gemini. Scorpio again, double on the Scorpio. Y'all also could have had some of you had a Scorpio going against you. Some of you could have had an Aquarius, Capricorn, or Virgo going against you as well. Capricorn, double on the Capricorn. Aquarius, Taurus, Sagittarius. Yeah. So Sagittarius, Taurus, Aquarius, Capricorn, Scorpio. Libra, double on a Scorpio. Some of you also could have had a Capricorn going against you. Virgo, Aquarius, Pisces, or Sagittarius also going against your connection, whether you knew it or did not know it. There's also a Leo involved somehow. All right, so I'm going to end it there. If you like the video, hit that like button so I can keep making these videos. And also hit that notification bell if you want more like this. Thank you so much for allowing me on your journey. If this is where our journey ends, thank you for allowing me. Namaste, loves. Take care.